congratulations to today's daily shout out winners if you want to win a shout out leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in my next video hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Lizzie, and today guys once again the tea is extremely hot because i once again found some more dangerous band recall toys that i am shocked even were allowed to exist you guys love the last video i made so much about dangerous recall toys that i decided today to make a part two and if today's video gets to 20,000 likes make it happen i will make a part three of dangerous band recall toys anyways also guys be sure to hit the subscribe button because we are getting so so incredibly close to 2 million subscribers and i do not want you guys to miss out on my future videos so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and without further ado we're gonna get talking about the dangerous recall toys that i found on the internet and trust me they are crazy so the first really concerning and messed up toy that was recalled and super dangerous is the whammo water wiggler i'm here there everywhere my water spray makes me squirm and squiggle so they call me the whammo water wiggle toy is a lot to take in let me tell you guys about it this toy consists of a seven foot plastic hose attached to aluminum water jet nozzle which is covered by a bell-shaped plastic head the toy is designed to be attached to a garden hose for water fun it approximately retailed for three dollars and fifty cents it looked like it was an innocent toy but if somebody turned the hose on full blast whammo water wiggler turned into a semi lethal weapon it danced and bobbed erratically and wrapped around you like a boa constrictor and if wrapped around you strong enough if the water pressure was high enough it could literally choke and kill you yes i'm not even being dramatic this thing would like spin around the air it would whip around really crazy it could smash into your head or face cause extreme damage to the people around it like i don't know who thought that was a good idea especially in the commercial you can see it's like wrapping around the girl like almost choking her like what who thought that was a good idea i'll charm you and also your big sister I just love my wiggle. Everybody loves the wiggle. Bamo stated that there was a recall due to the death of a four-year-old boy in March of 1978. The youngster was playing with his whammo and some other children in his backyard when the water wiggler from which one of the bell-shaped head had been removed had come off. The exposed aluminum nozzle became lodged in his mouth and he ended up drowning to death due to the water wiggler. Like, that is horrible and so sad and so messed up. I just don't understand though how people thought that was a good invention. Water wiggler was also involved in a similar death of a three-year-old boy in 1975. Parents are advised not to allow their children to play with this product outside, especially alone. The Whammo Water Wiggler requests its retailers to remove the water wigglers from their shelves at all stores because they were getting so dangerous and so many kids were almost getting choked to death and being unsupervised by their parents and having a lot of accidents while playing with this toy. So in conclusion, these were a horrible, bad, bad idea and they just did not go well at all and they were cringy. So scary. I do not want to wear a water wiggler in my house. Water wiggles. No, thank you. <laughs> so the next messed up dangerous toy, guys, is creepy crawlers. Behold my most horrifying creation. <laughs> Squeeze the colored goop into the bowl. So I actually remember seeing commercials. I don't think they were the original commercials, but I feel like they were still going when I was a kid of these exact toys. Basically, Creepy Crawlers were a remake of the Easy Bake Oven, except for these ones were specifically targeted to boys. Like the packaging on these toys always showed young boys, never showed girls for the most of it, at least the old version. And they were always like smiling, making some weird bugs, frogs, or something gross with their oven toy. They look really innocent, obviously like they were making fun candy, they were just like gummy worm candies, but there was a really dark messed up twist to this toy that a lot of people did not know about. The problem with the toy was that the oven got extremely hot and the liquid plastic was quite toxic. The burns would be so bad that the chemical gel, plastic goop used for the original crawlers also gave off toxic fumes. A revival in 1978 with new safer formulas and plastic, not metal, molds didn't do as well because kids craved danger. That is just so bad that that happened to the kids who played with the toys. Luckily, I don't think any kids were killed or anything super bad ended up happening, but it was definitely concerning to the parents at the time whose kids had those toys and they were recalled obviously off the shelves and kids ended up not getting them as often. I do feel like I had seen them for a little while too though, like a remake of it like I said, and then they were pulled off the shelves as well. So I don't really know what happened there, but all in general, that was a really big flop of a toy and it was just kind of a weird concept. The next Next toy we're talking about is the swing wing. I'm sure you guys haven't heard of this because it is kind of an ancient older toy. I 
hadn't even heard about until the other day when I was doing research, but this toy is problematic. She is in some drama, okay? Let me tell you why. So the swing wing was actually a swing hula hoop for your head. Basically, the whole objective was that you put the swing wing on your head and you move your head around and the swing wing flies around and you're cool, you're trendy, you're hip, you're fitting in with the kids back in those days and it was the trendy thing and everybody had one and wanted one. The reason things were pulled from the shelf was that the toy featured a shooting ball which led to the choking of a four-year-old boy in 1978. It actually claimed the lives of dozens of children before the FBI shut down the production of the swing wing in the factory at Dublin, Ohio and burned all the evidence that they ever existed except for the swing wing toy commercial. And not only that, but the swing wing was giving a lot of kids spinal injuries because of the way that they were moving their heads around so aggressively. When they did it so much, it caused a lot of nerve damage in the back of their necks and their spinal cords. And just everything about this, you know, having the ball that swing around at the top was just not safe. A lot of things ended up going wrong with the swing wing and the commercial is just enough to prove that. The way they showed the kids upside down in a tree using a swing wing, it was bad. And the music to this commercial was also very bad as well. And people in the comments also noticed this from like seven years ago under this YouTube video of the commercial. People were commenting like, who thought this was a good idea? Or wow, this would be really great if you threw like heavy metal music over it. Like imagine. Honestly, terrible idea. I don't know what they were thinking, but Swing Wing was an epic fail to say the least. So the next dangerous toy we're going to be talking about is called the Six Finger. A one, a two, a three, four, five, a six. Six. Surprise! It's six finger! A toy where, I don't know if you guys have ever just not wanted five fingers, but add a six finger? Yeah, apparently that was a thing. That's the whole concept, like having six fingers except for the one finger that you add is magical and has some sort of magical powers or something, but they were not good ones. So six finger actually doubled as a toy gun. Not only that, but it had like features where they could shoot bombs out of their hand. So kids would use this to like pretend to shoot other kids, because they could have a fake gun finger, use it to shoot and launch things at other kids. Fires cap loaded bombs and they explode. And it looks like your finger and how will they know? Six finger, six finger, six finger! And just do all sorts of things with the six finger. I mean, the commercial should speak for itself. It was not a good idea. Not only was it just kind of downright stupid, but it also promoted violence, which a lot of parents got mad about the commercial of the six finger when they saw all that you know kids were using it as like a finger gun or they were using it to like shoot things out of their fingers like they were just kind of concerned that this was on the market so eventually the six fingers were pulled from the shelves and they were not good okay they were just bad and last but not least we're going to be talking about a Barbie called Barbie and Tanner so Barbie and Tanner was a very innocent doll that was created for little kids who loved dogs and Barbies no I'm just kidding I never liked Barbies as a kid but I did love dogs anyways Barbie and Tanner was a doll where Barbie Barbie goes around with her golden retriever Tanner and her dog would poop and she would pick it up with a little poop scooper that it came with but the bad part about this was that there was magnets inside of the poop in this Barbie doll that if swallowed when you were a young child like a toddler an infant it could cause internal blockages that would require immediate surgery and even death so these things were obviously pulled off the shelves extremely fast and it was a huge fail the commercial was pretty cute though I mean look at it it was adorable obviously Barbie was just walking with her dog so it seemed like a really innocent fun toy but it ended up being deadly and dangerous <laughs> it was kind of sad honestly that was a cute toy but it was such a fail anyways guys that is going to be it for today's deadly dangerous toys let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think was the most dangerous toy in today's video and let me know in the comments down below what other toys you guys would like me to cover in future videos anyways guys thank you all so much for the support with today's video I really do appreciate everyone who watched to the end if you guys are watching right now at the end of the video comment the magic word pancake and that will let me know you guys watch the end and you guys are loyal anyways guys thank you all so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it be sure to drop a like let's see if we get this video to 20,000 likes also guys be sure to subscribe button if you guys have not because it means a lot guys we are so so close to hitting 2 million subscribers and i would love you guys and i would love <laughs> and i would love if you guys would join the family anyways guys it's been lissy and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys bye.